is a payload carried by the Thunderhead balloon system quickly detects and classifies the threat. Utilizing real-time communication posts stands with a mission to provide intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance in airspace. Thunderhead balloon systems... What's up, dudes? Chooch, back with another one. Today, I want to show y'all something a little bit different. I want to give y'all the full, in-depth look at these uh, Chinese spy balloons or whatever's going on with these and show you an unbiased opinion of exactly what's going on with it and show you some video and stuff you've probably never seen before. Um, this has really intrigued me and I wanted to show you what's up with it and explain it a little bit better than the mainstream media is. Kind embarks on its most exciting adventure. The conquest of space and the role of the balloon has been very important. Raven Aerostar is a company out of South Dakota. They've been making these high altitude balloons since 1956 for various different reasons. And throughout the years, with the advancement of technology, they've put these in many different systems around the world. And the reason that it is a big deal is because they've essentially adapted artificial intelligence to work with these nowadays, guys. And the reason they, they're so powerful and they're such an extraordinary weapon of war is because artificial intelligence is now making these things to where they can be put into a literally like a flight pattern and kept in one spot to do long-term surveillance of an area. And it's no joke, dude. Like this old school basic technology of a balloon combined with new age technology makes a powerful weapon. path is determined to optimize point to point navigation. Navigation is achieved by leveraging directional wind patterns in the stratosphere at altitudes 65,000 feet and above. All right, on board these things, guys, they have a solar panel system on them. And within that system, the whole thing is it's running the artificial intelligence on it to be able to collect, whether it's taking imagery, whether it's figuring out what's going on around a military base. It's not just looking at, at pictures, guys. It's literally collecting data so specific as to when, what, where, and how things are moving around. And it's collecting it and it's storing it in a way that humans couldn't even fathom, okay? This is literally so much detailed information that humans can't even fathom it. If you set a man up here looking at just a video screen on this and you know calculating everything, it wouldn't mean anything. The AI on it is what is the big problem with this is because it's collecting that much data of our whole algorithmic movements of how people and bases and what whatever weapons and defense systems people have is literally tracking all that and the movements of it. So this is why it is a big deal. After arriving at an area of interest, Thunderhead, Thunderhead balloon systems, systems offer network, network persistence for up to months at a time. Filling a significant capability gap, Thunderhead balloon systems allow for rapid integration of diverse payloads and sensors, serving a wide range of missions. Okay, so with these balloons, guys, they can carry up to 8,000 pounds. They can carry more than that, but the maximum recovered load this um, company, Raven Aerostar, has ever recovered from one of their balloons is 8,000 pounds, okay? So just think about that for a minute of, of, of what you can wrap your head around that may weigh 8,000 pounds, okay? And the possibilities of this are extreme. You could put weapons, you could put surveillance, you could put, I mean, anything on this, literally anything, dude, up to 8,000 pounds, the possibilities are endless. And that's the scary thing about this, guys. And why I agree with both, like, I can't believe this is turning into a political thing because it, the whole thing boils down to this. We don't have the technology to be able to intercept this thing safely, okay? In reality, what we should have to be able to get rid of one of these is a drone system with a net, a high altitude drone system where you got four drones that fly up in unison with a big ass net that literally just net this thing and then bring it down. Literally drive around it with a huge ass net, bring this thing down to the ground and bring all of our data, all, all the stuff that has been collected in that thing or technology that's on it, where we can see what the hell it is, okay? And not just shoot it out the sky and let it fall in the ocean. Um, and the other thing is too, they couldn't shoot this thing down over the United States, period. Because if they shot this thing down over the US, they didn't know if it had any weapons on it. They didn't know how much weight it was carrying. They didn't know um, to what expanse of the, the disarray would be of this thing. And if you got pieces flying in neighborhoods on top of cattle, on top of, you know, of schools and hospitals and businesses, you can't have that. 
So in reality, it should have been dealt with before it ever got to us and should have been detected then. And it should have been destroyed before it ever got over U.S. soil. And or the other option should be we need better technology now. I mean, we literally got outsmarted by a balloon and now someone needs to develop an invention to be able to intercept one of these balloons. And I guarantee you right now, someone's doing that as we speak. Find a cost-effective and low-risk low platform for ISR capabilities at altitudes above traditional air threats. The local commander deploys several Thunderhead balloon systems from the At Ready constellation. And so right there, this is another big key to these things, guys, is, is just how high they can fly. And typical fighter jet, okay, your typical F-35 fighter jet flies at 50,000 feet. They can push that up, though. You know, a good fighter pilot, they can fly that thing up to about 65,000 feet. But that is the limits, guys. And so in that video, if you saw them when they popped this balloon, that's why that plane flew up. And then he still, he shot, and it looked like it had an extra, you know, probably seven to 10,000 feet of elevation to be able to shoot that missile at that balloon to, to pop it and take it down. And it's literally because our fighter jets cannot fly as high as these things. No fighter jets. Carrying, carrying sophisticated, sophisticated ISR, ISR sensors, sensors to the denied airspace. airspace. With, With navigational, navigational and duration, duration capabilities of up to months, months at a time, the, the Thunderhead, Thunderhead balloon systems, systems provide a powerful, powerful persistent surveillance, surveillance platform. platform. At stratospheric altitudes, these lighter-than-air platforms can navigate and hover over areas of interest at altitudes unattainable by traditional ISR platforms. Upon receiving information regarding a possible threat, intelligence analysts navigate a thunderhead balloon system over the area of interest to clear. And see that? See, they can navigate these things over an area of interest, and so that's the the crazy thing about this is if you really look into the research of this, because. To the standard person just thinking about a balloon in the jet stream, you think, okay, balloon in the jet stream, there's no way in hell you're going to be able to, to navigate this thing. It's at the will of the jet stream, but it's not the case. The artificial intelligence that's on board of these things is what's being able to navigate it. It's literally taking into account how to use the jet stream and how to use the weather to its advantage to get to where it wants to go with the minimum amount of, you know, uh, what rudders or thrust or whatever the hell you would need to move a balloon. Um, it's using the minimal of that uh, because of its AI and being able to, and every mission that these do, it's only going to get better. And that's the way AI works. Collect more. That's why chat GPT is free right now. So that chat GPT will not be free forever. And that thing will, it, it will cost you probably 50 bucks to run it one chat GPT search um, in the future. But right now, the reason it's free is because they're collecting all that data, man. Every input, every search people do, it's just, the AI is learning. All it does is learn, guys. And that's how it's gotten so sophisticated so fast. And it, that's why it's such a threat to humanity is because it can learn so much faster than we can. Information. The, the sensor, sensor payload, payload carried by the Thunderhead balloon, balloon system quickly detects and classifies the threat. threat. Utilizing real-time communications, the threat parameters are relayed back to the intelligence analyst on the ground. See, this With Thunderstorm, Raven Aerostar's common operating system, balloon performance and sensor intelligence is integrated into existing networks and computer systems for mission coverage. Satellites providing communication and PNT capabilities maintain orbit above the Earth. Suddenly, an adversary issues an electronic attack critically degrading military operations. This crisis, a constellation of Thunderhead balloon systems carrying advanced payloads are steered to the affected area as a replacement solution. So basically what this is guys, this is how during a electromagnetic pulse, this is how operations are still gonna be run. Because before we get to nuclear war warfare, it's gonna be EMPs first of all. Um, it's just gonna, it, that, that's simply what it'll be. It'll be EMPs that knock out all of our power, all of our communications for, you know, for military as well as civilians. And this is gonna be the only way to communicate. And it seriously will be. They'll have to completely reinstate a whole new system once an EMP occurs. And this is how they're gonna do it. And this is why they're practicing. 
A remote military outpost commissions a patrol to perform long-range reconnaissance. As a solution, the outpost commander orders that a constellation of Thunderhead balloon systems loiter above their location. Systems carry communication payloads that allow vertical line of sight with the patrol and ensure data and communications flow. Thunderhead balloon systems provide an on-call communications relay platform that can be quickly and efficiently deployed to support a variety of missions in austere environments. So that whole game balloons tower defense that you might have played on the internet before. <laughs> I think there might have been some foreshadowing to that little um, that little indie game. <laughs>